A big part of the American dream is a secure retirement, quitting work, traveling, enjoying the grandkids, but that feels increasingly out of reach for millions in the middle class. All month long, we are doing a series of reports called Stuck in the Middle. And tonight, we're looking at the retirement reality for women. Channel 8's Teresa Woodard has the five numbers that you need to know. Let this sink in for a minute. The typical working American has no retirement savings, none. And those who have saved only have about $40,000. That's according to the National Institute for Retirement Security. And for a lot of reasons, things are worse for women than men. So you need to have a plan in place because the number one fear that women have is outliving their savings later down the road. Financial advisor Kathy DeWitt Dunn helped us come up with the five numbers women need to know. The first number, 35. Social Security benefits are based on the 35 years when you earned the most money. Women typically make less than men and come in and out of the workforce as we stay home to take care of children. So it might not be that smart to retire when our husbands do. Men and women love to retire together, but what happens is, is if you're two or three years younger, you've actually given up some money on Social Security benefits later down the road. So if you have to work another two or three years just to maximize your benefits, it's really something you need to look at. The next number is 15. Saving 15% 15 of your salary when you're young can set you up for success. So in your younger years, in between you know, 20 to you know, your late 40s, you need to be maximizing your 401k plans, putting away at least 15% you know, for a rainy day, and just to have your funds there. But I think the magic age is the aha moment is when you're 50. 50 is our next number. At 50, do the math. Figure out exactly where you need to be, draw up a roadmap to get you there, and then follow it. That brings us to the number two. Plan at least two dates a year with your spouse or with yourself if you're single to take an honest look at your savings and your spending. But sometimes you do fall off the track, but it's okay. You can just reset and get right back on. But it's important if you're sitting down and having these financial discussions, at least you've identified that you're off track. Our final number is 70. That's when maximum Social Security benefits kick in. Women typically live longer than men, so we're likely going to need more money in retirement. So you might want to consider working or at least putting off claiming Social Security until you're 70. Planning for and saving for will be one of the most difficult things you ever do, but it's also one of the most important. Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News.